Today's video is sponsored by FSP, one of my favorite case and power supply manufacturers. Whether you want an inexpensive feature packed quality computer case, a high end tower style CPU cooler, or a powerful rock solid power supply, FSP has you covered. I have been reviewing their stuff since way before this sponsorship and I've always been surprised at the price to performance that FSP offers. See links in the description to browse their products, available on Amazon and Newegg. I highly recommend them. What's up people? My name is Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet today and I'm back from CES and things have changed a little bit. Something something. Uh, just lots of just never ending fun here in the Timmy Joe fun times. Uh, but yes, yeah, I'm back from CES. I had an amazing time. If anything, I just wish I would have done a little bit better with the content and stuff like that. It's hard, man. Uh, and, and I'll maybe speak a little bit more to, about this to, towards the end of the video, but being your first time in you know, just being, you know, completely blindsided by the amount of people there and the things that go on, uh, it's not easy. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to do some recapping on a few of the vendors that I screwed the audio up on um, while I was there uh, here this week and uh, maybe do a little recap of, I use the DJI Osmo Pocket the whole time I was there and I'm going to do a review of doing CES with the Osmo Pocket only, well, sort of only, uh, and why that was a good and really bad idea all at the same time. But we're here to talk about FSP and uh, real quickly, my set has changed a bit and that's because there's a leak in the roof in my office for like the fourth or fifth time and I'm done with it. So uh, before CES, I went and picked up any computer stuff that was going to get wet if it leaked real bad while I was gone. And last night I moved into a spare room in my house while I look for another office space. So that's why things look a little different around here. Anyways, I set the setup sort of, you know, samely as possible, but if it's too dark or whatever, I apologize. It takes a long time to fine tweak. So FSP had some awesome products there to show off and they have been just a wonderful supporter of the channel. And they were my first uh, visit on Monday morning at 10 a.m. at Caesars Palace and I walk in and they treat me beautifully. I met Fiona, you know, my contact there and her, you know, her crew, they were just wonderful. They had uh, a modding guy that had done a, a custom PC for them uh, and they were in the same suite as Lee and Lee. And uh, yeah, I, I got to looking at their products. I do a little interview. I already put that up with their uh, revised CMT 520 case, which is one of my favorite cases from them. Uh, and uh, how they put their 850 watt uh, Hydro PTM Plus power supply, which is a water cooled power supply, in it. And then um, I got kind of starstruck because Paul's Hardware walked in off of the, yeah, off, yeah, and then Der Bauer was there. Uh, so I, I just didn't record the audio properly or something. I like missed half the audio in this appointment. And, uh, I got frustrated and I was going to maybe do a voiceover thing while I was at CS. Then they had one megabit upload in my Howard Johnson suite. And I said, forget it. When I get home, I'll do it properly. I'll do a nice wrap-up video. So CMT 520, they have uh, basically just updated it with better fans, addressable RGB fans, uh, where before it just came with solid color RGB fans uh, with just a button that swapped between them. Well, it still has that, but now you can plug it into your motherboard and it will do like the fancy array of colors in the single fan. Uh, and they've added like $20 to the cost to that to around uh, 120 for the CMT 520 with the addressable RGB fans, the CMT I think they're calling it the plus. And that should end up uh, at Amazon New Egg and Fry's uh, pretty soon, early 2019. Uh, and then in that uh, case, they were also featuring their 850 watt updated Hydro PTM plus power supply, the world's first or I guess second now. Uh, water cooled power supply. Now Linus has looked at this before and asked the question, why does this need to exist? Well, there are reasons. And uh, you know, if you want a fully water cooled computer, they make RGB uh, water cooled RAM, Thermaltake does. So it's not like, you know, FSP is going out of limb here. Every product, you know, there's water cooling blocks for M.2 drives for God's sakes. 
it's cool that they make this power supply and it's you know they make really good you know 100 japanese capacitor like they're always like gold rated or platinum rated uh power supplies so uh them updating this 850 watt just makes the price point a little bit more pal palatable they said it'd be like around three three four hundred dollars where the original 1200 watt version was like well over six hundred dollars for a bit i think you can get it for about 550 now but uh you know there's that and then speaking of power supplies, some cool ones. I've never seen this before in person, but I've seen it on their website. They have a dual uh, 500 watt, I think up to 700 watt. They call it their twin series power supply where in an ATX form factor, there's two power supplies. So if one dies, which is unlikely with FSP's power supplies anyways, uh, then you're covered because the other one will just kick in. It's, uh, you know, and the pro, you know, will make the life cycle on that power supply much longer because it alternates between using, you know, each of them. It's, it's pretty cool. So seeing their twin there, having two power supplies in a, the same form factor, very nice. And then speaking of form factor, they uh, updated their Dagger series, the Dagger 2, which now is a, like an inch shorter. So it's an SFX power supply, like an ITX build, you know, power supply. But they shrunk the SFX down even further to allow for you know more compatibility with smaller form factor cases and you know projects like maybe I could get one and put uh, you know some freaking power supply in a computer inside of a PlayStation 3, something like that. So I'll have to look out for that. And uh, then you know just worth mentioning they had a 2,000 watt power supply, which I've only ever seen that a handful of times. But you got to guess what that was for, right? Uh, the thing that's over now, mining. But 2000 watts i mean if you wanted to have a fully water-cooled system with like two pumps in it and uh the 18 core intel with two titan rtx's might be a good place to start their canon series uh 2000 watt power supply pretty neat uh but that wraps up the power supplies and then they uh they showed off a new case very cool. I like their cases. They're very high quality. They're not flimsy. They're not, uh, you know, the lower end of stuff. And they price them pretty competitively. So uh, the CMT 510 and 520 was like 100 to 120, depending on if you're getting the newer RGB, RGB fan version. Well, they're calling this the CMT 340. And it's a smaller little baby version of their CMT 510, which I did a full custom loop in. And it's essentially like a temper glass on the front, temper glass on the sides, four addressable RGB fans, and it's going to be $100. But it's a smaller form factor, but still fits an ATX motherboard. So very, very, very cool. So yeah, um, that's about it for FSP. They were wonderful. They were just, uh, it was great to meet the team there. I'll be doing work with them in the future. And, uh, you know, to see the, the innovation that they kind of bring to the power supply game, they're an OEM for a lot of power supply manufacturers. So they, they make power supplies for, you know, companies that you take for granted are good power supplies, like Corsair and like, I don't know uh, specifically which ones, but they, they are an OEM for, for power supplies. So they, uh, you could just buy it direct from them and know you're getting that very, very good Japanese capacitor and all that stuff. You know, I don't have to sell it to you. They just make good power supplies. I've never had one issue and they're always whisper quiet and uh, awesome. So thanks to FSP. I apologize for the, um, you know, maybe not the greatest uh, CES content out there, but I certainly learned some lessons. I learned to make sure my audio is working, maybe even have redundant audio. And uh, we'll have some updates later on in the week. I'm looking to get right back in here, splash right into 2019 with some awesome PC content. And uh, yeah, I, I check out the video that's gonna show up at the end called Timmy Joe Walks the CES 4, please. That is my favorite video I've ever made, I think. And it only got viewed like 2,100 times. And everyone that's watched it and it has like lots of likes has just said how hilarious it is. And I think it was pretty hilarious. I basically just trolled the CES floor. A friend of mine like emailed me and said, hey dude, you, you cracked my kids up in me because you know this video so go check that video out after this and then stay tuned for just a few more updates from ces and then we'll do uh some brand new content for 2019 starting very soon i'm out watch timmy jones scrim twitter thanks very much for following along with me thanks to fsb and patriot uh we'll be doing patriot video next because they had some pretty cool stuff coming including an rgb m.2 drive and vme drive with a little heat sink on it so that'll be worth talking about but uh I'm going to go kick it, Just keep making this room look a little bit better, and I'll see you guys in the next one.